Sometimes employers would like to limit what types of access their employees have internally. Even though it's not a guest network, it's an employee network, they still may want to limit where the employees can go. So if I click on network access, by default, you can see an unrestricted access, which is the default. I can choose restricted access, and I can say that wireless clients connecting to this network will only be allowed to reach the internet, so that's still going to work, and then also specific or specified destinations below. So I can put in an IP address such as 192.168.15.200 and then that goes ahead and locks that in. I can also choose to check the box for allowed selected clients which will grant network access only to wireless clients. So rather than outbound connections, such as it is seen on the left-hand side with network access, this is going to be inbound to these wireless clients or Wi-Fi clients. So I can click on plus, and then I would choose the clients that I want. And right now I don't have any clients checked in, but when I do, I could choose those specific clients and then other devices can communicate with them, but not all the different clients, just the ones that are selected. And if you choose to not have any type of restriction, just go back to the default where it says unrestricted access. And then all the different Wi-Fi clients will have access to the internet, all internal IP addresses, as well as any other clients internally will also have access to them. The one exception to this would be is guest network access. Guest network access only allows access to the internet, but that would be a separate network and would not be included in the employee network.